In this exercise, we're going to be discussing simplifying a surface. Now, there are ways within Civil 3D of being able to reduce the number of points that you're using in order to create your existing grade surface. We don't need so many points to be able to triangulate an accurate surface. However, when we reduce the number of points within a data clipped boundary, we're able to reduce the bloat that's going on within your surface and we're able to reduce the drawing file size. Currently, I'm in the 03 corridor points drawing, which is located in your tutorials folder. And as you can see, we still have our corridor boundary, as well as all of the points that exist within that corridor boundary. However, we're going to go through a simplification process, which allows us to go through a wizard that will dramatically reduce the number of points used to create an accurate surface. We'll begin by going into our layer control and we'll scroll down until we get to these two contour layers. Go ahead and thaw these two layers and these are extracted contours from our existing grade surface. They're no longer a part of our existing grade surface. However, we're going to be using these contours as a comparison to the final output that we get when we simplify our points. Next, go up into the Modify tab, then select Surface. Then go into Modify, click the Edit Surface drop-down, then select Simplify Surface. We get our Simplify Surface dialog box, which is essentially a wizard that will give us a few different options for being able to reduce the number of points. We have two different options in this first window. We have Edge Contraction and we have Point Removal. In this exercise, we're going to simplify things. We're going to stick with point removal, which will reduce the amount of points within our data clipped boundary. Go ahead and select Next. And then we're going to click this option to select objects. We're going to pick our data clipped boundary for our corridor. We're going to pick this corridor, which is our orange line. After we select this, we get a calculation that says the total number of points that are selected within this region. Currently, we have about uh, 16,000 points within our corridor area, so that's a lot of points. Go ahead and select Next. And then we have some reduction options. Currently, we have our default set to 50% just for simplicity's sake. And then we're going to apply this and now you can see that we now have roughly around 8,000 points. So we'll see once we've reduced the number of points, is our surface still accurate? We'll use our contours as a comparison. Go ahead and select Finish. And if we zoom out a bit, you can see we have our comparison contours and we have our surface contours. And there's a little bit of a difference here. And there's a little bit of a difference in here, but overall, we've been able to maintain the integrity of the accuracy of our surface. And if we go into the C icon and we do a save as of our current state of our drawing, we'll call this 04 Simplify Points. We'll select Save. Then we'll open up our Windows Explorer by right-clicking on this tab, then select Open File Location. And as you can see, if we compare our simplified points drawing to our corridor points drawing, we've been able to reduce the drawing file size just slightly from roughly to around 1.6 megabytes down to 1.1 megabytes. Now, if you remember, within our all points drawing, we were roughly to around 5 megabytes. So throughout this process, we've been able to make small adjustments in order to reduce the amount of triangulation that's happening within our existing grade surface, which is allowing us to reduce our drawing file size.